What is up internet? Long time no see. I just wanted to make a video on a little thing that I'm going to do on the van today and plus give you a couple updates on the Datsun. So I got to run to AutoZone real quick but then after that I will get you up to speed. So thanks again for watching and let's do it. Back from AutoZone I had to run and get a couple of these butt connectors. Uh, I needed some of these bigger ones to help me with my wire tuck on the Datsun. It is a pretty simple car. I rewired it like last year. It was really messy around here. I still need to vacuum up all this just dirt and stuff, but all of the wires come out of the firewall back there and they came down here and one went to the coil and the brake switch. A bunch of it sat right here underneath the battery, which I got rid of. I'm gonna relocate the battery to make it look a little cleaner. And I gotta fix this little rust spot. And so now this is much cleaner. It's running through the side right here. I drilled some holes and put some grommets. And I'm running the two sort of halves of the harness. Got to finish fixing all this stuff up. I'm gonna tape it up, make it look nice, and kind of run it down here through this hole, which is where the brake line goes through. And you can see I got it painted right here. I just painted this with truck bed liner after I did a whole bunch of wire wheel work on this panel. The whole suspension, I repainted this black, but I am have it covered up right now to avoid the rest of the dirt because I still have some wire wheel work to do over here and I haven't even touched this side with the wire wheel and you can just, this is a good idea of the before and it is just caked in dirt, grease, grime, going to be wire wheeling all of that as well as in here cleaning it all up. The engine bay is going to be the same color as the interior which is almond and the outside of the fenders is going to be the bed liner just to prevent any rust in the future. From there I took the whole engine apart. I'm waiting on a new cam to come in. I found one in Mexico. have to wait for that to come in and this is all cleaned up, new water pump. I have new bearings for it all. All the stuff is getting repainted over there. I got a bunch of parts up there. So the Datsun is coming along. I just haven't really filmed any of it because I think there's a bunch of that sort of stuff on YouTube of how to do and I just think it's a little bit boring to watch me wire wheel my 50 year old truck. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm going to bore you by wire wheeling my 25 year old K-Van. If you've been keeping up with my videos, you'll know that I ordered some parts from Japan and I kind of did an unboxing a few months ago. I was moving at the time, so it got a little hectic and all the parts are just in the back of the truck right now. Beat engine is over here. I've just been waiting to take it apart because the Datsun engine is on my engine stand. Long story short, these are my new floor mats for the van, which came in a while ago, and I haven't put them in the van because I want to clean this out and get rid of all of the crud in here. Basically, I've been keeping this in here. This is just a generic mat from AutoZone that I cut to fit around the wheel well. I want to get rid of that. I want to get rid of this pathetic, lifeless bit of floor mat. I also want to get rid of this plastic rubber, like it's supposed to be the floor protector, but it is just, it's cracked, it's leaking stuff underneath it. I want to get this out, clean it up, and paint it with some of that bed liner stuff to make it look really good. And at the same time, I'm going to take off the seat because I haven't done that before, and I want to just clean out as much as I can while I'm over here. Going to start on that 
and I guess I'll update you in a little bit. So enough talking and more working. Let's do it. real quick I wanted to point out that's kind of hard to show over time lapse so here is the this is like the main ducting for the heating and cooling system so this is like the the fan and the heater core is up here so this ducting is held in right here and what's holding it in is this little pin right here and it looks like this and all you have to do is pry this out with a flathead screwdriver and then push it back in when you're done and then this comes out and then this whole plastic piece can come out all at once I wasn't expecting to do the passenger side at this time but it looks like it I might as well just go for it because I have it all apart and it's all here so just gonna send it Here's a good view from the passenger side of all of the center console plastic taken out. So it's easier to take out like kind of the glove box shelf because a lot of the stuff is screwed to the, the blower and everything's all tucked up behind there. Uh, the cool JDM as <laughs> road flare. I'm going to start cleaning this off. I got a bunch of goo gone and stuff. Uh, this is the a wire for the tack so I need to make sure that that uh, doesn't oh what's what is back here just pulled this out from underneath the e-brake and it seems to be like a USB to micro USB adapter <laughs> It is so dirty. All right, I'm really happy that I took this off. So now I can clean all this stuff off, which looks like it's never been cleaned. And then I can start spraying some Goo Gone down in here, getting closer to painting. So I'm gonna do that real quick. I'm not gonna bore you with the time lapse. I will update you when I get to the next step. Okay, I've been letting the Goo Gone settle in for a little bit. It's looking pretty gross. I did clean up sort of around the air conditioning system uh, with some degreaser as well as, well as the Goo Gone. Goo Gone first, then degreaser. Uh, so that's looking pretty good. There's some little uh, tight corners and crevices like near the gas filler cap lever. Just gonna start going to town with the wire wheel, so let's get to it.
Alright, so it's about to get dark and I could work in my garage on the van, but I put the seat back in and I am really struggling with this. It's like a really thick, um, it's probably like a undercoating or something that's been on there for a while, but the wire wheel was not a good idea because it just splattered the mess everywhere and all the other cleaners weren't working so I have some of the orange stripper on it some of Krista strip this stuff so hopefully this peels it up I'm gonna let it sit for a while um, just cleaning up and getting it to where I could maybe drive it in the morning uh, but not the most exciting vlog but hopefully I'll be able to do this a little more now that it's summertime, I know I keep always saying that, but I'm making good progress on the Datsun and just doing little things here and there on the van. If you wanna keep up to date on what I'm doing with my tiny cars, uh, be sure to like and subscribe and I will have some more updates for the Suzuki. Again, I've said that a million times. The weather's finally nice. It stopped snowing, finally. We'll have nice weather to get the tubular subframe all mocked up on that and more exciting stuff that's about it for now maybe soon i will do a little video on rebuilding the j13 for the Datsun and some more of the wire tuck and other engine bay cleaning stuff so gonna just leave it for now and we'll see you next time day two All right, what's up internet? So it's next day and I think I figured out how to get all this stuff off. So I did some searching on YouTube on how to remove like uh, the undercoating on cars and it said that the best way to do it was with a heat gun and just a normal like pallet knife kind of like that and it's been working out great. So I've gotten a bunch of material off. It's really nasty so I'm gonna Keep doing this I'm not gonna bore you with it because it's just you just heat it up and follow behind with the knife and scrape it up so I'm gonna do that on the driver side and then the passenger side and then we'll get it ready to paint with some uh, truck bed liner so thanks for tuning in sorry this is taking two days but I had to figure some stuff out and we're figuring it out. We, we are figuring it out, bud. So let's do it. Okay, so that took me a, a while to finish up and it got dark. So we'll just give a quick... I've started to put everything back together and this is where I'm at. Most of it is of the rubber uh, sub floor or undercoating is off and it's down to the bare metal or close to it um, I'm pretty happy with that In the next day or two I'm going to mask all this off and paint it with the truck bed liner I'm only gonna go probably like a little bit up onto here because a big piece of uh, plastic that's part of the center console covers that but I will go up onto the front of the car a bit to make it look nice and I will also probably bring it into sort of the door jam right here and I was concerned about these holes in here but I think after I paint it I'm just gonna get some plugs uh, to insert in there and since I was thinking about putting carpet in here anyways the this would be a good place to put a, uh, a clip to put through here to hold down like a piece of metal or plastic just to make it look nice to hold the carpet in. That's it for right now. Sorry that it took two full days to do, but sometimes you bite off a little more than you can chew and you just have to get through it and that's what we did. That's it for now. Thank you for joining me on this little project. If you want to see more like little stuff like this, little mods that I'm going to do to the van. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and tell your friends about it. I'm hopefully going to be doing a lot more K-Car stuff, which is the namesake of this channel. 
uh, this summer, uh, especially with the beat engine, which is over there. Also, this is a new windshield for the van. I'm getting that replaced, but I'm not going to really do much videoing on that because I'm not doing it and my insurance is paying for it. So, again, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time, and remember, keep it small.